Well, guys, here we are. Um, I'm the C of the CJ Farms, and uh, right now we're heading over uh, to help Justin. Uh, he, we need to feed the cows over on the lake field, and uh, they've been seeming to get into the hay yard there. So he's over there dealing with it right now, and I figured I'd pop a little video, something that I have never done, and. Uh, and kind of discuss with you some of the operations around the place and what we've got going on. Um, right now, uh, it's you know the, right in the middle of winter, and uh, and we should be uh, froze up, and we should have snow on the ground. And right now, we're dealing with mud, and we're dealing with uh, frost that hasn't settled in and and created a hard pack on the dirt for us. And, so we're kind of concerned about uh, this cabin season coming up, you know. And if we don't, if we don't get it frozen up, uh, the bacteria in the dirt, the uh, uh, some of the you just just the rottenness of the ground itself is going to create problems. Uh, we've had uh, we've had issues with scours in the past, and we've had issue with pneumonia and those kind of things when we've dealt with this kind of weather. Um, it's it's kind of one of those. It's nice out for us, as it's it's actually pretty warm, and we can do do quite a bit of stuff. But in reality, uh, this time of year, we're kind of dependent upon this this actually freezing up and getting a good hard base, and the air temp being you know around oh, 20 degrees or 25 degrees, and the ground temp being down around 20 or so, and, and staying cool like that, staying cold. And you know, I mean, we do get below zero every now and again, but this year we haven't had it, and this year we haven't had a, a, a hard freeze, um, and so we're concerned about that. Um, secondly, what that does is uh, uh, the snowpack. We we're, we're lack on snowpack this year, and that's going to create a problem come irrigation season uh, when we're when we're right in the middle of it, and they're talking about shutting water down because they don't have enough water. Uh, for everybody so that that does play a factor in everything we got going on so um, we definitely need the snow we definitely need the cold weather um, to, to be able to you know, get through some of this it's not that we <laughs> we really love the cold weather and love the snow but it is a, a necessary thing for us to uh, have good healthy calves come up on the ground and uh, or and uh, and for the snow, for us to have a, re a reservoir or a reserve of, of uh, water for us to irrigate with. So yeah, that's some of the things that we got going on. And right now, um, the cows are still out on pasture, so that's good. I mean, we haven't been able, we haven't had to feed um, anything, and so um, we've been we've been pretty pretty okay there. Uh, we just need we need some snow. We need some cold weather kind of set some of this in as much as we don't want it we do need it um, and so uh, the dirt roads around here are usually faster you can drive faster on because they're packed with with snow and the washboards are all washed in and filled in and <laughs> so but uh, anyway just thought I'd pop a little video talk to you later you guys figured out how they've been getting in this fence wasn't like that uh, when I first made the first video over here when I was fixing the fence uh, but right here in fact I got the wire right here the fence was loose over here and so they were scratching on it you can tell by all the hair that's on there if you guys can see that they've been scratching on it and then they stretch it out enough to where they can get through so they'd get through and then I chase them out and I thought they were getting through that gate or maybe even over in by that brace. But uh, turns out they weren't doing that. All they were doing was itching on the fence and jumping through. So I came over here after school, drove by, and then I noticed that they were all in here again. So I did a quick evaluation, decided all the things that I needed. I've done this all off camera. So I don't remember where I was, but Dad's going out to feed with the unroller right now. So anyways... Uh, the wire broke and they pulled they were itching on it and they loosened this post up a lot and then just by them being them itching on it and all that good stuff they ended up breaking that wire pulling all these staples out that I just pounded in these ones I just pounded in not the ones that they pulled out 
and this fence dropped and they went in so that's uh, that's what happened to that so now what I got to do is I got to make loops on that end loops over here and then I'm gonna take some barbless wire that I cut and uh, loop the two together and then we got a rope tightener that I'm pretty excited to use and we're gonna tighten it all up and get it ready to roll so gotta pound another uh, staple in here or no it's not long enough to do that so what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to make a loop there first and then make a loop over there on that wire mess <laughs> Then I gotta stretch them together and then tie them up. And then I'm, I'm gonna pound some T-poles in, wire those. And uh, yeah, so a little bit of a pleasant surprise. Well, you guys, that's going to be it for this video. Hello, Ellie. It's going to be it for this video. Please like and please subscribe if you haven't yet. And I will see you guys in the next one. Later, guys. Hi, Ellie.